so you want to add lantana to your garden you've heard it maybe gives food for the birds and the bees or you want to add it to a butterfly garden or a wildlife garden or you're just looking for a really pretty shrub for your yard well you're in the right place because we're going to be covering all things lantana I'm doing a whole series on this and in today's video we're going to be talking about the basics what is lantana and why do you want it in your yard <laughs> So let's start with the basics about lantana. Lantana has over 150 different species. They are native to the Americas and to Africa. They mostly grow naturally in the subtropical and tropical regions, which is why places like where I live in Florida, they can grow year round. But if you live in temperate climates, no worries. You can grow it as an annual, adding it in every single year. Now they kind of group into two different areas. You have your shrubbing type of lantana and then you have what's called like trailing van lantana or vine. It's not literally a vine, but it kind of acts like a vine as a ground cover. And the common names are just typically things like lantana or shrub verbena. Those all are talking about this big group of family of plants. Lantana, because it can be both a shrub and this kind of vining, trailing lantana on the ground, it can go anywhere from one and a half feet tall to six and a half feet tall. So you want to make sure when you're going and picking out a lantana, you know what you're getting because there's a big difference. They can go tall, they can go wide, they actually tend to go between three and five feet wide depending on, again, what species you get. But no matter whether you get the shrub or you get the trailing types of lantana, you're gonna get it because of the flowers. The flowers are so pretty. They are very small and tiny, but they grow in little circular clusters called umbels. And as they grow, depending on the type, some of them change colors as they get more and more mature, which is really, really pretty. But they come in a bunch of different colors from red, yellow, orange, pink, purple, blue, white, and I think that's it. <laughs> and combinations of all those colors. So that's why this just makes it a beautiful plant to have with all these varying colors. It almost is like a little group of flowers that are just like a little mini rainbow that's happening constantly. So why would you wanna add lantana to your garden? Well, one, I think it's gotta be for the look. Honestly, this is a very pretty plant. Whether you get the trailing type or you get a shrub type, it is just pretty with those evergreen leaves if you live in somewhere subtropical or tropical or those clusters of flowers and if you prune it you can just really help it fill in and when you have a lot of flowers we're going to get to the number two reason it's to bring in the butterflies i think with this plant you've got to say it's a must for butterfly gardens those little clusters of cups really do bring in the butterflies swallowtails bird wings cloudless sulfur skippers, and of course, some bush-footed butterflies. They love, 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 love drinking out those little tiny cups of flowers, but they're not the only ones who love those little nectar-filled flowers. Number three has to be, you wanna bring in the bees, especially honeybees. Honeybees and other types of bees love getting nectar out of this. So if you're trying to help save the bees or have a pollinator garden, this also, you really should think about having lantana in your garden. But reason number four, well, it's gotta be, you've got food for the butterflies, you got food for the bees, you got a great butterfly garden, pollinator garden, but now you're thinking about wildlife garden. And that brings us to number four is that the fact that this plant has berries on it. Yes, once those flowers die off, there are berries that birds just love to eat. Migrating birds, birds that are there year round, they enjoy these berries so, so much. So consider it if you're looking at a wildlife garden too, yeah, get lantana. But we've talked about food for the butterflies, the bees, the birds, but what about us? Didn't we say there were some berries on there? Well, here's where the scientists are divided. The leaves are generally considered toxic to humans and toxic to a lot of other animals too. So they're considered deer resistant. So if you're looking for a deer resistant plant, this would work for that. But the other thing is, is that, yeah, there's some question on whether there's some medicinal qualities to the leaves, that's kind of up for debate, but generally people agree that humans shouldn't eat leaves from lantana. The other question is, is about the berries. Some studies have said that they're toxic and lethal to humans. Some said, maybe not. They all agree that if the berries are green, don't eat them. But when it comes to the ripe berries, that's where there's some question marks. And I think this really 
well, if I were a scientist, my hypothesis would be that this might have to do is that which species are we testing? Because remember, there's 150 and sometimes one species can be edible in a plant and the other can't. So I think that's where there's got to be some more research. But if you're wanting to be super adventurous, I mean, you could try the berries. I'm just saying it could kill you. So you're in. You're like, I want it. I want the birds. I want the butterflies. I want the bees. And of course, I want those gorgeous flowers, right? Right. And you're ready to head to the store. But weren't there 150 species? And what are you going to find there? And how are you going to know what to do? Well, here's the thing. If you want the vining trailing type, that's going to usually be Lantana montevidensis is the one that's also known as trailing Lantana. If you're looking for the shrubbing type, what you'll commonly find is Lantana camera. But before you buy, can you just hold on one second? because we need to talk about that. See, there's a problem with both of those, specifically, well, especially Lantana camera, but it's with both of them. So that's what we're gonna talk about next, the problem of Lantana camera. And if you wanna make sure you don't miss that, go ahead and like, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications. New videos each week on Friday and sometimes a bonus on Sunday. And while you wait for the next video, go ahead and check out this, this, and YouTube thinks you'll like this. Okay, I'll see you soon, bye.